Good morning, everybody. The weather's changing fast and it looks like it might storm, so I'm gonna try and keep this quick today. I'm gonna do a fast walkthrough and then I'm gonna sit down and chat with you guys because I have a few things that I wanna talk about. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch you around and we'll get started, okay? All right. On the deck up here, everything's just kind of growing. There's not a whole lot of um, updates to give. Everything's just wrapping it up for the season. This is all that's left of the stuff that I had started up on the table. Everything's kind of winding up for the year. Peppers are doing good. Those are going to be brought inside. Tomatoes may or may not be brought inside. I'm not sure. They're not producing a whole lot of fruit or flowers that are in the pot, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those. But these ones will definitely come inside with us. And potatoes are almost ready to dig up. As soon as the foliage is completely dead, then we'll be able to dig that up. Got lots and lots of peppers and flowers still going. This one will be brought inside the house. And, oops, sorry. I forgot. This cucumber, I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. If it's the soil or too much water or I'm not exactly sure or if it's bugs even. But I had to pull out several plants because I don't know if you can even see some type of like the roots are like shriveling up and getting soggy and coming apart and it almost looks like the center of the stems being bored out so which makes me think that it might be insects or something i'm not sure but this is the same thing that happened to all my cucumbers out in the garden too even up here on the deck it's happening so i'm not sure why that's happening so this was like eight plants and now it's down to four and this one's looking like it's probably not going to survive so I guess I have lots of learning for cucumbers for next year, I guess, but, um, Henry's going to get packed up this week. He's going to go inside so he doesn't get ruined by the winter. Say bye to Henry. I sure love him. He's just beautiful. Okay. Come out here super fast. I know I said I was going to try and make this fast today, guys. There's not really a whole lot of updates. I picked two big handfuls this morning off these raspberries. They're still producing tons and tons of fruit that aren't ripe yet. So we're just kind of waiting for these. Big bundles. And these tomatoes over here. See if I can even see any fruit. There was some. These plants are so big and bushy compared to the ones that I have in my garden, so it's hard to find anything. Little ones probably won't be mature by the time the frost comes. Oh, here they are. Yeah, those probably won't be mature by the time the frost comes, but it was cool to see how these uh, bush out without the suckers being pulled. They're a lot bigger than the single stem ones for sure. Those beautiful yellow flowers, I didn't have the heart to pull them. They're so pretty. <laughs> okay. Take a quick walk through here. All right. We got our carrots. These will still probably be able to go a little bit into the frost without being too affected. So we can pull those out as we'll use them. And if not, when the hard frost comes, we can always place them in a tub of sand and that will keep them nice and preserved until we can use them so they don't take up our entire fridge. These radishes are probably going to get pulled this week. We'll see how big they get. I'll do a video for that too. And the cabbage. I might end up just harvesting these for the leaves if they don't get very big. They probably won't before the frost comes. Kale. They're beautiful. Oh, these ground cherries. I gotta look up and see if there's a way to force these to ripen faster like there is with the tomatoes because there's tons of fruit but nothing's ripe on it. So we'll see what we gotta do for that. These beans are still producing like crazy. This is like the third or fourth bunch of flowers that it's produced. And I noticed that as I'm picking beans, the beans that are regrowing are purple. My phone does not pick it up right. but they're turning purple and it's very strange and I'm not sure why but I mean there's tons and tons and tons and tons of flowers everywhere in here so we'll see I've been harvesting handfuls every other day of those <laughs> poor sunflower died because it bent but 
There's lots of them starting to bloom, especially this one. Cause look, there's a bunch all on one stalk. It's kind of cool. Okay, we got lots of peppers growing, steady growing. I'm gonna be kind of sad if I don't get any harvest off of these this year. Frost is coming faster than we know. All of a sudden we're gonna turn around and it's gonna be like, what happened? Lots and lots of little peppers. That chocolate pepper. The kohlrabi's starting to get thick. Ooh, yummy. Okay. I have continued to uh, defoliate these, pull extra branches off, pull flowers off, pull any suckers off, trying to conserve all the energy for the plant to go to all the fruit that is not yet ripening for some reason. I'm trying to force them to ripen. The next step is going to be taking a shovel and kind of severing the roots on either side of it so that it feels threatened and it feels like it has to put out fruit to survive, which will help force ripen them. But I mean, there's tons and tons and tons and none of them are ripening. Oh. We got our monster down here. It's huge. It's just starting. Looks like these ones might be starting to ripen. They're the black crims. So they're starting to get dark. I mean, there's just lots of them, but they're all green. So I'm just going to continue plucking off these flower buds so they don't try to produce fruit so we get the energy to go to the fruit that we already have on the plant. These ones are probably going to be the first to ripen. They look like they're getting really light and these are like a peach color so just waiting for those and I did pick off the largest one off of each of the cherry tomato plants and I put them in a box with an apple and an orange because that's supposed to help them ripen. So that's another little experiment I got going on. I'll do a video in a few days for. Lemon cucumbers growing good still. I'm definitely going to grow a lot more of those next year. I'm going to make pickle balls, guys. It's going to be real cool. <laughs> All right. I think I showed you everything in the garden, so I'm going to go ahead and walk up here. And I had something I wanted to talk to you guys about. Switch you guys over in a second. Sit down with my coffee. Okay, guys. So, I always have these, um, I don't know if you want to call it epiphanies or great ideas that I have in the middle of the night or, you know, in the mornings and stuff when I'm not doing my videos. And then I never get the courage or remember them or for whatever reason, I never talk about what I want to talk about when I'm on my lives. And I'm not sure if it's nerves or... I don't know what, but for some reason I haven't been saying the things that I want to say. So I wanted to kind of touch base with that just a little bit today. Um, there are three things that are the major, I don't know what to even call it. There's three things when it comes to plants, and that's roots, growth, and fruit. And I think that that has taught me so much it has healed me so much just going through the process of caring for these plants and being with the earth and everything else that the fresh air and the sunshine and everything has been so healing for me and i've been thinking about this a lot lately and but i also realized that it's not just about me that i want this to be a journey for everybody else obviously so i wanted to ask you guys about your roots, your growth, and your fruit. And what I mean by that is your roots. Where did the, I, if you, for the ones that want to garden or do garden, where did your roots come from? What sparked that idea of, I want to garden, I want to grow my own food? What sparked that passion or the idea of it being a possibility? Was it, you know, something you saw on TV? Was it a friend? Was it, you know, your grandpa? Did he grow tomatoes and cucumbers like mine did? You know, these things are our roots and where they take us, it all starts back with the roots. And that's, you know, what got us started. And I want to know what got you started? Like what gives you the passion to garden or want to garden? And the next thing is growth. I have learned so much about 
you know with all this experimenting and stuff growing stuff this way and that way and there's no one right way to do anything so it's personal it's all personal growth but what helped bring it from an idea the roots to a plan of action have you started a garden do you have a plan to start a garden what do you want to grow I want to know where your growth is and also the fruit because each plant is going to set out fruit to hopefully carry on its legacy to reproduce to you know keep the bloodline alive so your passion for gardening your idea whatever it is how are you going to continue that are you going to get your friends involved with planting are you going to have your kids help in the garden i want to know your roots your growth and your fruit so down in the comments below i want to hear about it let's chat i want to talk to you guys because i feel like i'm always just talking to the camera everybody listens and then they go about their day and i want to know more about your guys's journey because we're in this together so i think that it would be rewarding for me to get to know you guys too so that we can reflect and grow together because i mean it's food we all eat it so if we can help learn from each other then i think that that would benefit everybody in the long run so and help keep that legacy going and you know keep your fruit growing keep your seeds viable you know keep that knowledge turning and spilling out into everybody else because that's you know where your growth is going to happen and you're going to keep growing and the seasons change but good thing about that we don't die in the winter time so <laughs> we can just keep growing and that's the beauty of it all so as our seasons are winding down I'm not going to have a whole lot of plant stuff to talk about but I'd love to find other things to talk about so if you guys got any ideas shoot them down in the comments and like I said I will continue this conversation because I want to get to know you guys more and I want to know your roots your growth and your fruit so with that